we all use pdf files on daily basis be it a research paper or an ebook or maybe your credit card bills everything comes as a pdf file and because of the portability and the security of pdf files those are becoming popular increasingly now only thing is majority of the time whenever we use pdf files we only read those pdf files but there are requirements where you may need to edit some of the pdfs in different ways in this channel earlier i published some of the videos related to pdf and some of you also asked different questions related to PDF files, how to edit those, how to convert to an Excel, all those questions you all asked. Now today I am going to show you one tool which is all in one in PDF and not only editing, annotation or different other features, this particular tool also have some AI integrated capabilities. So it's not only PDF editing, it is your chat gpt of pdfs now this tool name is updf who are the sponsor of this video today in this video let me show you some of the prominent features of this particular tool and what it is capable of let's start with some of the basic functions and after that i'll show you some of the advanced features also followed by some of the ai related features now one best part of this particular tool is it works on all available operating system be it windows mac iphone android iPad, web browsers, everywhere it works. And using their cloud storage, you will be also able to make certain changes in one device and you will be able to read that same article in another device with record changes. So let me show you the tool. This is the interface of UPDF Windows application. I am showing you the Windows version now. After that, I will share the link in the description below using which you will be able to visit UPDF site and you will be able to download required version of the application based on your devices. Before I show you anything in this software, let me show you very quickly one option using which you will be able to understand what this tool is capable of. If you click on PDF tools, there are multiple different things. Organize your pages, you can do page sorting, you can extract some pages, you can split document, you can split pages also. All those are available under organize pages. Edit, you can add watermark, you can comment, you can edit text, images, everything. All those things are available here. I'll show you some of the options in this particular video itself. And you can also create PDF from different other file formats, images, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. From there, you'll be able to convert to PDF. And in opposite direction, you'll be also able to export PDF file to image, Word file, Excel, or PowerPoint. All those options are also there. If you want to reduce size of your PDF, you can use this compress feature. OCR functionality is there. If you want to print, all those things are there. And if you also want to protect your PDF, you will be able to protect your PDF with an additional password. Digital signatures are also there. And one final thing is very useful that is compare PDF files. If you want to compare between two files, that also you'll be able to do. I will show you some of the prominent options in this video so that it will not be very long video. Other options you can come and try in this tool. Hopefully you will be able to get answer to all of your PDF related requirements in this application itself. Now, let me show you very quickly. First of all, we are going to edit one of the PDF. If I open any of the PDF from here, maybe this one, this project management using PMI standard. Earlier, I created this particular PDF using one of the AI app. And this is the file we are going to use now. You can see this is the PDF. Now here, if I click on this particular icon that is edit PDF, now I'll be able to edit this PDF. So you can see whenever I'll mouse over, I'll be able to get option to edit my text here. So if I add something, I'm adding text here and it is allowing me to edit. One thing you can observe here, whenever I'm typing, it is picking up the text style, font and font size, style, everything as per that particular paragraph. If I come here and type something that is maybe new, you can see it is following the same style of that heading. So this is one very good feature. So this is the editing part. You can open any of the PDF file. You can edit as per your requirement. Now, if I scroll up, you can see there is one image. So here, if I move anything, I'll be able to change certain things here. If I also don't want this particular 
uh, text box to be here and you want it to be here. So all those are possible. So not only text, if you have any of the vector images in your document that also you'll be able to edit using UPDF tool. So this is the way we can edit any of the text or vector images within this PDF file. After that, if I close this file and save required changes, then let me show you how can you annotate in, in your PDF files. So what I'll do, I'll open one of the PDF file in my iPad and there I'll annotate and then similar thing we'll see that how is it working in our desktop application. I'll go to files, I'll go to UPDF cloud and here maybe I'll open this particular file and let's see how it looks here. This is the same file we just worked. So here you can see the required changes. So if I click on this pen icon here and then I'll click on this pen and there I'll select one of the highlighter and do a long press. You can see this is the highlighter. I'll choose one of the color from here. And now if I come, you can see this is one change we made. We also added the text here. So we also changed certain things in this picture here and uh, where we change this particular icon and we moved it outside this image. So this is the way you will be able to annotate. So take an example, if you're reading any of the PDF and you want to annotate, you want to highlight and you want to refer those highlights later, then this is the way you'll be able to do it. Let me show you very quickly. If I just hold it here, I select another color and I also select the opacity or the size of this particular color, right? So opacity is set as 25% that you can also change. And this is the way width of your highlighter you will be able to select. Now if I come here and I can now annotate using this way. You can see this is a light color and this is the width we selected. So this is the way you'll be able to make any of the annotation in your PDF files. Now let me do one thing. If I go back and I save this particular file, so this is saved. Now if I come back to my Windows application and there if I try to open the same file, and let's see how it looks like. Now you can see there is a pop-up came that there are some changes to this particular file. You want to open that updated version or not. I'll click on remember my choice because I'll always look for the updated one and I'll click on yes. Now it is loading from UPDF cloud. It contains all the changes, whatever we made, whatever the highlights we, we added here, other annotations, everything is available here. So this will be very useful if you want to access your PDF files from multiple devices and you want to retain all those changes in a central place so that you don't lose any of your work. Now let's talk about another feature. If you have a PDF file and you want to convert it to Word, Excel or PowerPoint, that also you can do using UPDF. So let me show you very quickly. This is one of the time table and here you can see one table is there. Now if someone wants to convert it to an Excel file, how can you do it? You can go to file and from there you can click on export to and then you can choose Excel. And if I click on export, it will ask for a file name. Now let me save this particular file as new. And then if I click on save, it will get converted. Now you can see Explorer is opening and there, this is the new file. If I double click on this particular file, then it will open in Excel. Now you can see this is the file. It converted that particular table in Excel property. So this is the way you will be able to convert any of the PDF file to different file formats, be it Excel, Word or PowerPoint, you'll be able to do it. Now let me show you another good option here. If I open any of the PDF file, maybe this one, this is again on the project management standards and currently you can see this particular file is in English. If you want to translate this particular file to another language, it's just about one click. If I click on this particular icon, this pop-up will come. Now it will ask in which language you want to translate this document. Currently this is in English and which language you want to do. If I click on French and if I click on translate, then it will ask for a file name. So it's already proposing that one file name with a suffix of FR and let me click on save so that this particular file will get saved in that particular file name. Currently you can see this translation is going on and it's showing the progress. Now this has been completed and this is the output file. I can't read French, so I would request some of your help 
to let me know in the comments below if it's done a proper job or not. Now let me show you a few of the next feature and those are related to AI. I'll close this particular option and then I'll use this document only. So this is one document. It contains project management standards and there are a few of the options, few of the images are there and some amount of text. Now if I want to use any of the AI feature here, you can see in the bottom right, UPDF AI is one option. If I click on that, you will be able to see these options in the right pane. Here what we are going to use that is first of all, we'll summarize this PDF. So what UPDF will do? It will use AI capabilities to summarize the entire content. Now this is a only three page document. If you have a longer document that also can be used. However, let me show you this particular example. And if I click on get started, then it will upload that particular file and currently AI is reading this particular file and it's processing. And after that, it will show you the summarization of this document. You can see it's saying this document dives into the essential practices of project management as guided by the Project Management Institute PMI standards. So this is a summary of this particular page. If you click on this particular icon and this is very, very useful mind map if you click on that it will generate the mind map for you using which you will be able to understand any of the concept in a detailed way let me click on go and then it will generate the mind map you can see on the fly it will generate and you will be able to see the progress currently it started generating and it is showing this particular mind map you can see it's expanding that particular text and quite in a detailed way it is generating the entire mind map using which you will be able to understand is all PMI related standards way better than any other document and not only the mind map if you go to their website you will be able to see under AI assistant you will be able to chat with images also. So there is one example shown here. You can use this feature to chat with any of the images using this UPDF software only. So similarly, if you need to sign any of the PDF document, you can go to this particular link. I'll add in the description below. You'll be able to send, sign and track your documents using UPDF workflow and you will be able to track everything there related to PDF signing in case you have any such requirements. So this is all about it. So this is a one stop shop for any PDF related requirements within this one application. I have added one affiliate link in the description below. You can check that link and you will be able to download the software if you want to use it from your computer or any other devices or if you want to use the web UI only. So any of the ways you will be able to use UPDF. If you use PDF files frequently and you have the requirement of the editing and other options I shown in this video, you can check one link I added in the description below. From there, you'll be able to access the tool. You'll be also able to take the pro plans if you have any such requirement. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions related to UPDF or any other PDF related queries. If you want to know how can you generate unlimited AI images using an absolutely free tool, then check out this video to know everything about it.